Hey guys, welcome back to Till Beer to Us Part. We review all things craft beer on this channel, so if you're new, consider subscribing. Ring a ding, ding. Ring the bell. We're bringing you another top 10 things about beer, because there's a lot. There's and a lot of things. Today, it's the worst beer trends ever. Sellouts. What is with all of the breweries getting all together, getting bought out? There's so many breweries now, they're just owned by AB and Bev. I'm never going to drink their beer again. The next thing I hate about these beer trends is the hype. Some of these breweries get so much hype that who cares what your local brewery is because everything Monkish makes has to be good, right? And I think about like Toppling Goliath. Oh, have you had SR71? Have you had KBBS? Have you had a seven? One hour later. Morning Delight? No, like who cares? Their fucking whales are probably trash. Yeah, they're, they're, they're probably, probably good. They're probably, they're probably good. good. And what do you do with these whales? You put them in a cellar. For years! Like, why would you get them if you're not gonna drink them? What kind of beer freak has a beer cellar? Getting into the kinds of beers. I swear to God, I don't know how many adjuncts you can put in these stouts, but these pastry stouts are out of control. I feel like it's turning into Willy Wonka and the pastry factory right now. We're all gonna turn into Oompa Loompa soon. And what's the counterpoint to pastry stouts? More, 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 more haze. I swear to God, how many breweries have we been to that all they have is haze? Like my palate be burnt out, bitch. I can't tell you about how many breweries we've been to. Haze, 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 haze. Now adding things to beer, you know, you can add a couple adjuncts, but when you get into some weird shit like adding glitter, I don't wanna poop glitter. Why was glitter ever a trend? Is it still a trend? Because it, it should be. It should never be a trend. Should not ever. Happen. And then you start getting into all these other funky things to do, like St. Patrick's Day. Ah, oh, let's do some green beer because adding food coloring to my beer is gonna make it so much better. And I mean, not to say that this isn't a trend, but this has been a trend for years. It's never going to die, and it should. Also getting into our seasonal trends, Pumpkin beers. Now I'm a white girl. I like me some pumpkin. The number of pumpkin beers in the fall is too damn high. And the most recent trends that breweries are doing that I absolutely hate, it's not even beer that they're doing. They're doing hard seltzers. <laughs> what the fuck is a hard seltzer doing at my brewery? If you wanna, don't want to drink beer, don't go to a brewery. If you want something light, why not just make a light beer? But wait, that's another thing I hate about beer trends now, is that everyone's making a light beer. Uh, it's not okay to drink Miller Lite or Bud Light, but if Dogfish Head puts out a light beer, everyone loses their fucking minds. And now, Bell's has something called Lighthearted Ale. We basically have come full circle. People hated light beer. And that's why craft breweries became a thing. And now we're back to light beer again. This is why beer trends suck. Let us know down below what are your least favorite beer trends. We're interested. All right, guys, for Lager of Reporter and Bottles Are Undraft, we're your favorite couple for the worst beer trends. Ugh. You stay classy, San Diego. We basically, basically, sorry. We basically, basically. For new notifications on video, for what am I saying? 